Nintendo Labo. Nintendo Labo. Nintendo's newest product is something Google did a long time ago for $20. But it comes with a game cartridge. But I think the most important question here is how strong is Nintendo Labo? Who could help us? Lucky for you, I've got the answer. Roll the intro! Hey guys, SwitchCube Advanced Gaming here, and thanks for clicking on the video. I would like to start by thanking the Game Theory Slay's video on Hello Neighbor and the Box Stacking Mechanic for giving me the idea for this video. You see, in the video, he goes into how cardboard has different strength levels, and they can be calculated by the number of flutes per foot. Using the same idea, we can find the flute rating and overall strength of Nintendo Labo. Let's get started. First, let's go over some definitions. Flutes refer to the wave-shaped cardboard that adds structural support between two layers of a piece of cardboard. And the letter in front of a classification refers to the type and strength of that piece of cardboard. Before we can do any math at all, we need to find an item we already know the length of in order to compare it to the length of different pieces of cardboard. Well, obviously the Joy-Con. The Joy-Con were there, so we can use them as our baseline, being 4 inches. So, using ratios and the known length of the Joy-Con, we can figure out exactly how long a piece of cardboard is, and by the same principle, find our number of flutes per foot. The first step was finding a point in the video where a Joy-Con was shown in relation to the cardboard so we could create a scale. And the best example of this was none other than the piano. While Nintendo was showing off the piano, they showed a Joy-Con being inserted into a side slot. Well, earlier in the same video, we can see the exact piece the Joy-Con is being inserted into while being constructed. Lining up where the Joy-Con is placed on this piece, we can say that the piece is 4 inches long. Now, we just need to relate that piece to a piece where we can see the flute siding. It just so happens that in the same picture, there is a little nub that is being folded over. And while being folded, we can see the flutes. So, comparing the length of this nub to our already measured length, we can determine that the nub is 22.2 repeating percent of our measured length. And therefore, 22.2 repeating percent of 4 inches. So, you multiply the 4 by that 22.2 repeating percent, and we get the actual length of the nub, which is, in fact, 0.8 repeating inches. Now, we just have to count the flutes that are located on this nub. There are roughly three and a half flutes over the span of the 0.8 repeating inches, and in order to find the cardboard's rating, we need this in flutes per foot, not inches. So, dividing 12, the number of inches in a foot, by our measurements of 0.8 repeating, we can find what number we need to multiply our 3.5 by to convert it into flutes per foot. This number is 13.5. 13.5 times our three and a half flutes gives us roughly 47.25 flutes per foot, which is very close to B classification cardboard, making this one of the stronger types of cardboard. We've done the math. We figured it out. It is B flute cardboard. What does this mean, though? And how does it compare to other cardboards? Do you really care? Of course you do. That's why you're watching the video. Let's continue. What a B flute cardboard would mean, it is the third strongest type of cardboard. E is the strongest with very tight flutes, making it very reinforced and stable. B flute is just under that, bringing in at quite a strong structure. Looking at the builds and designs of the Nintendo Labo, you can quite see how they're very tightly pushed together, reducing the surface area of any tension that would be pushed on it, therefore increasing how much strength it can take. This being a B flute is a good thing. That means we are paying $60 for a full price game, which makes sense, and if you're getting the variety pack of the Toy Cons, you are paying $10 for B flute cardboard plus some strings, plus some rubber bands, which actually isn't a bad deal, and it will last you as it is built quite sturdily in small amounts. So this can take the beating. This being a B-flute means that Nintendo really 
has done right with the Labo and gives us good quality cardboard and therefore worth our money. Be sure to comment down below what you guys think of it. If you want to see Game Theory's video that helped inspire this video, be sure to check the description and check out some other fun things in the description. Be sure to like this video, tell all your friends about it, and subscribe to SwitchCube Advanced Gaming if you liked the content. There will be more coming for you. Have a nice day.